Hello beautiful people, this is Bree coming to you from Umami Gourmet Coffee and Exotic Tea. And I am so excited to share with you our summer ice tea box. Hello, hello, hello beautiful people. I am so excited to bring to you today our ice tea box. Now, I had such a good time blending and mixing and deciding on which teas, which blends, which um, ingredients to use in this box. And let me tell you, you will not be disappointed. I am so excited to tell you about what we have in this box. So let's get started today to work on or to sip on while I was um, getting the tea boxes together by the time you see this uh, all of the tea box would have been mailed so I just wanted to share with you the summer ice tea box now during the time that I put this box together we are still in a pandemic so we are still quarantining we are not um, open for business yet but uh, I'm sorry the physical store is not open for business yet but we are always open online so I decided to put a box together it's called our summer iced tea box and I decided to put something together that had some flavors in it like work with some lavender and some coconut and some pineapples and some apples and some aloe vera and some things that I may not have offer, offered or worked with before, but I wanted to do something different. <laughs> I am bored out of my mind, so I needed something that would challenge me. And I just wanted some wellness blends also. So we have all of that in this box and we have two different options. And the first option is a regular tea box. Now, this summer iced tea box does focus on iced teas. <laughs> so what we have is mostly fruit and herbal infusions, but I did put a couple of, um, when I say couple, this particular box includes up to eight ounces of tea. So up to six ounces is gonna be uh, mostly I'm sorry for your regular tea box because we do have a regular tea box so we have a regular black tea because when people most people when they think of black tea they do think of I mean when they think of iced tea they do think of black tea so I do have one black tea in the box and the rest of them are fruit and herbal and then in the decaf box I have a decaf black tea and then all fruit and herbal and hopefully that makes sense but let's get into this tea I am so excited I wish that you could smell my office the showroom it smells delightful right now because I've been bagging and all of the blends were together but I've been bagging so I have just this huge aroma of flavors that are wafting through the showroom and oh my god it is so so amazing i will be glad when we are open again because the tasting room will provide all of those flavors and the experience and all and then you can come and check me out and you can say oh that's what she was talking about when she was like everything just smells amazing so okay so let's get started I'm gonna start with aloe fresh first and it is just like it says aloe vera is in there it is the most when you smell it oh my god and when you taste it when I was blending this and, and testing it out last week and you'll see uh, in one of my other videos the five fruit tea videos I'll put that up but you'll see that once it's brewed it is this wonderful, wonderful um, brew. The brewed herbs are just so wonderful. 
So what it is, is candied aloe chips. Now, I had never heard of it either, but you know I'm always researching and, and searching and finding new things. So it's also eucalyptus and um, it's surrounded by fruits like apples and pineapples, red currants and beetroot. And it, this one, although it is an herb, there are a couple of herbs that do contain caffeine. So this particular tea, although it's an herbal tea, it does have caffeine in it. And the caffeine comes from a plant that's called, and I hope I'm not butchering this up, I will put the spelling down, but it's Goyasa. I'm gonna have to make sure that I pronounce that correctly. Goyasa is a herb that does contain caffeine. But in this particular blend, and this will not be in the caffeine-free box, this will be in the caffeine, the regular caffeine box. Um, but what it is, uh, Goyasa, it comes from India, and it is a plant, one of the few herbal plants that does have caffeine in it. But it's blended with so many other things in this tea that it probably will not be a lot of caffeine in here, but if you're caffeine sensitive, then of course I wouldn't put this in the caffeine free box, but it probably in this particular one, Goyasa does have caffeine in it, but in this particular blend, it's probably gonna be like a white or green tea, the same amount of caffeine that a white or green tea would give you. But again, this does not go in the caffeine free box. This only goes in the box that does contain caffeine. Therefore, the people who are caffeine sensitive will not get this. But back to the actual tea. It has chamomile, it has beetroots, it has um, aloe vera chips in there, it has pineapples in there, and it is delicious. So the next tea, let's see. Now this one, I also had a lot of fun with. It is called Honolulu Queen. Why did I call it Honolulu Queen? Because in my research, I realized and I found out that passion fruit, another name for uh, dragon fruit, <laughs> another name for dragon fruit is called Honolulu Queen. So I was like, oh, that's a cute name for this. And the passion fruit, because of the, um, the mixing and the blending and all, I keep saying passion fruit. The dragon fruit, the dragon fruit. The dragon fruit that's in here because of the blending and mixing and all, the dragon fruit looks like it has a really vibrant violet color and you will see that in the picture also. But it has dragon fruit, it has hibiscus in there, it has pineapples, raspberry, and this particular one also has elderberries in it. Now elderberries, I know everybody's been you know, well up on the craze of the benefits and all of elderberries. Well, this particular tea, of course, is packed with benefits because of the hibiscus, because of the um, the elderberries and all that are in there. But especially elderberries are very good uh, to fight off colds, to keep your immune system up, to strengthen your immune system. So this is a really good one as well and it's delicious the next one is called cosmos and the reason why it, it's called or named it cosmos is because <laughs> insert cheesy picture <laughs> it is a delicious blend of well-balanced herbs berries and blossoms and the taste is out of this universe but <laughs> No, really. This is a good one. It's really good. <laughs> it has hibiscus rose hips. It has lemongrass in there, apples and mangoes. It has citrus notes in there also. So this one is called Cosmos. It's really a good one. It's a nice, fresh feeling. It's one of our all-natural blends. So this is what I brew for myself today while I was working. Elderflower Basil Bliss. And 
it has notes of basil, notes of strawberries, notes of elderflowers, and notes of butterfly pea flowers. Now that's something that you're probably gonna, or you know, if you're following the tea industry, you're probably familiar with also. It has a very, very nice lavender, and I can show you here, because this is what I brew today. Look at that beautiful color that's in there. This is delicious. I sweeten it with some agave because if I'm gonna have iced tea, I am gonna put some sweetener in there. But I did put agave in there, but um, I'm gonna use this to, to do a martini because the flavors in there are so good. It's just really, really good. All of the flavors play nice together. Although it does have eucalyptus in there, it has fennel in there, it has lemongrass and melissa leaves. It's truly an exotic blend. And I think that's why I'm so excited about this box because most of the um, the ingredients that are in here, I, have, I haven't worked with before. So I think that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited. But this one is called Elderflower Basil Bliss. The next one is called Heavenly Retreat. Now this is one that was very popular in my shop, but I retired the blend. But I bought it back out of retirement. So it's back, it's called Heavenly Retreat. Now this one, it has some lemongrass, it has hibiscus in there, and it has some orange peel and rose hips. So it has the hibiscus, but it also has some citrus notes in there. I love this one as a hibiscus lemonade. And I'm gonna do a picture video on this and um, use this blend to mix with some tequila and show you how to make that beverage. And our next one is called Berry Lemonade. Again, the smells are amazing. We have the lemon peels, we have red currants. We have a melon flavor that's in there that is really, it's just very crisp and and, um, and delicious. You can smell it when you open it. It's like, it's like no other. Um, the melon flavor is coming from, or the melon scent or melon flavor is coming from the mixture of the pineapples with the lemons and the red currants but it's truly, truly a nice mixture. This is a very good summer lemonade. And this next one is called the Purple Unicorn. Now, why did you name it the Purple Unicorn, Brie? <laughs> well, I am a very inquisitive and just really curious person. Some people will call it nosy, I call it curious. So what, <laughs> what I did was, I wanted to know some things that lavender would go well with. So lavender, I love lavender, I love coconut, I love pineapples. So I put it all in this tea. <laughs> so we have lavender buds, we have coconut flakes, we have pineapple bits, and you can see from the, um, we have butterfly pea flowers also, and the butterfly pea flowers, you can see that they, you know, um, uh, beautify the coconut chips because you can see the little uh, purple and blue dots on the coconut chips. That wasn't on purpose, that was on accident, but hey, it still works. It's a beautiful, beautiful blend. But to taste it, now purple unicorn is something that is out of the ordinary, okay? This tea is definitely out of the ordinary. It is delicious. Now, all of these teas, you know, you can have them hot or iced. You really can. You can have them with or without sugar. I did put sugar in this, and I really, really love the flavor of how this came out. You really have to try it. It sounds odd. 
hence the name purple coconut i mean purple unicorn but trust me just trust me on this taste it and you will let me know that it is good okay now with this box because the fruits and the herbs are usually sometimes a little grainy i will include 10 tea bags that you can make your own tea bag with and you can see the little tag here it's very easy to use um, if you all want me to do a demonstration just let me know but it's just an opening here and you put your tea in there and you can fold it over so that it won't get into your cup and I probably will do a demonstration on this on Instagram um, on umami teas Instagram page but that's all you do and you have your tea bag so 10 of these will be included in the box you'll get up to eight ounces of tea and I know that you're gonna love it I hope that you love it just as much as I love blending and naming and tasting myself I had a very good time doing this box and I hope it comes through in the box when you receive it so let me know what you think down below i hope you enjoyed our presentation on the summer iced tea box i am brie and i am a tea enthusiast so if you know anyone that is interested in tea or beverages please tell them to like and subscribe Please like and subscribe this video. Give me some comments down below. Tell me what your favorite teas are. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye.